what you were aware of as a, you're a journalist, so as a possible pitfall of writing about war, or any any ideas, preconceived notions you had before you started writing that changed as you finished your book? Uh, well, uh, first I'll just say that I agree the problem with writing war uh, also brings you to the point where in each war piece would be always an anti-war piece, but at the same time we'll do a little glorification of peace or put some kind of a romantic filter on it of glorifying the war. So, I, but I think this is the only, in my eyes or in my, uh, in my experience, that was the only difference between me writing wars or me writing anything else. And yesterday I've been to uh, the No University and I was trying to explain to the students, they asked, uh, you've never served in battle, you've never been in combat. Uh, why do you, I mean, what right did you have to write a war or a soldier voice? And I, I couldn't find a way to explain, so I used another example, which explains the basic uh, reason why I write. Um, I don't know if you know, but Israel is at the age of uh, 21. They all go abroad to a year abroad, uh, mostly to South America, a year in South America. But if they are really into much more drugs, they go to India. And if they are uh, more uh, spoiled kids, they go to Australia. And, but I never did, did that because I was, first of all, I was too too, too spoiled, even for Australia and New Zealand, I, I couldn't leave home. But at the same time, I, I was too eager to start my career, so I didn't do that. But at the age of 25, maybe, maybe 26, suddenly I realized I, I, I missed an amazing opportunity. I will never be anymore the 21-year-old guy that all day runs around naked in the coca fields of Bolivia and having sex and drugs all day. So I opened my laptop and started writing it. But then I said, look, Bolivia exists, you can go there. You can run around naked in the cocoa fields of Bolivia and stuck in the end of the death road for uh, two months. So I took a plane to Bolivia, and I but and I was sure I'm going to be the 21 year old. Uh, and I found myself going around with a trolley suitcase and crying about mosquitoes all day. And the only thing I could do is just take a plane to a five star hotel in Rome and shower the windows, and put the air condition on the highest level, and open my laptop write about running around naked in the cockpit of Bolivia. And I told myself, you, you're always believing you are a collector of experiences, but you're really not. You do that only while writing. And, and always, writing for me is always about the two things. The first one is, is, is this, is being someone else and getting under the skin of my alter ego and trying to understand, to fall in love with things, to be angry, but I, I'm trying to be my alter ego and to be an actor, one day a queen and another day a prostitute. And the other reason I'm, I'm writing is touching and convincing, because I've learned uh, that, that the, only, the only, I mean, there are two ways in the world to convince us. One is by arguments and PowerPoints and, uh, and, and data, and the other one is by telling stories. And telling stories, uh, well, well, the first one will find you very suspicious towards me while I try to convince you Telling stories will go straight to your hearts and, and I will be more effective. So also I, I admit I'm writing over the touch and perfect.